Hello and welcome to Think Watercolour. Uh, today I'm going to be painting largely from memory but uh, the, the painting is a, a winter woodland scene inspired by a fallen tree that I saw the other day whilst out walking. Uh, there was no snow on the ground then but last night it snowed. We've had a couple of inches of snow which uh, is a rarity in this part of England. Uh, so. I was kind of inspired this morning to uh, do this demonstration. I sketched out, partly from imagination and partly from memory, this uh, fallen tree, and I've painted in some areas uh, with masking fluid with a, using a brush, and other areas I've used a ruling pen for some uh, branches and bracken and bits and pieces uh, that will be covered in snow. So I, before I start the painting, I'll just do a quick demonstration of how I use a ruling pen. I've got a piece of uh, scrap watercolor paper here, and this is a fairly basic ruling pen. Um, you can close the gap between the uh, tips to narrow the line that you draw. Uh, it's normally used for drawing uh, using ink, but uh, you can use fairly neat paint with it uh, but I use I quite often use it for um, applying masking fluid so all I've got, what I'm going to do here is a fairly strong mix of a neutral tint just to uh, demonstrate so that you can see it if I did it with uh, masking fluid you wouldn't really be able to see the line so just wanted to show how the lines work you just put, run the brush over the edge and it uh, fills that gap and uh, just closing the gap, just give it a quick tap sometimes to get it going. You can see you can draw a variety of uh, widths of line and just by rotating and moving it around you can create uh, the look of bracken and twigs etc. So. And that's how I applied the masking fluid to this, uh, this, this demonstration painting. So I hope that was of use to you. So uh, without further ado, we'll um, make a start on the painting. This is a mixture of ultramarine and raw sienna, just a touch of raw sienna, just to deaden the blue a little bit for the uh, background sky. And I'm just going to add some neat raw sienna in a light mix just blending into the uh, wet sky just to indicate some uh, trees in the distance just adding a touch of burnt sienna just to darken it slightly at the base uh, letting it all bleed together and a slightly darker mix of ultramarine and burnt sienna just for the distant hedge in the background. I'm just uh, letting everything blend together, just darkening it a little bit more maybe. And I'm just going to use the same mix, a little bit more blue, uh, for some of the shadows in the snow on the ground and in the foreground. Just slowly building up from lightest light to darkest dark. Just let, let patches blend together. Add some um, more burnt sienna to the mix just to grey it a little bit. Very quickly paint this in. Not being too fussy, it's uh, from the imagination as I said before, so uh, I'm not following any reference, so uh, winging it a little bit and making it up as I go along. Uh, this is Saunders Waterford uh, 300 gram high white rough paper. Uh, for the trees I'm just using uh, the same mix. Uh, this whole painting is done with basically three or four colours. Um, this is ultramarine and burnt sienna to create a dark grey uh, for the initial wash on the trees. I will add some, uh, some darker colour a little bit later once this is dry. 
uh, just painting the background trees. The ones nearest to us would be slightly darker and the, there's a couple fading into the background uh, which I'll try and keep as light as possible. Just add a little bit more water. Once the masking fluid's off, I'll be able to uh, put a bit more detail in on the foreground trees and branches and indicate the bracken in the foreground too, uh, all the twigs and broken branches. Just adding some darker t tones to the shadow areas, just to add a, add a little bit more definition to the painting. I mixed up a much stronger mix of ultramarine and burnt sienna for a really dark grey colour for the trees, for the bark on the trees. I'm just using a rigger brush just to use the tooth of the paper to create some texture on the tree. I'll probably uh, add to this once I've removed the masking fluid. If you use the side of a rigger, uh, you can pick up the tooth of the paper quite easily. Just don't have too much paint on the brush and keep the mix uh, fairly strong so that it's not too watery. As you can see, as I add the darks, the painting starts to come to life a little bit more and it looks less flat. Try and create some depth with uh, contrast. I've uh, removed the masking fluid and as you can see the uh, painting starts to come together a bit, bit better. Uh, now that I can see more clearly where the snow is lying on the branches I can just uh, add a few more darker details. This is <coughs> ultramarine and burnt sienna again. Just trying to create the uh, feeling of depth and volume. Putting these darkest darks in really brings the painting together, creates that contrast that I was speaking about earlier. And with the masking fluid gone you can clearly see the uh, detail of the branches now so uh, it makes it easier to add these darker details. And where the uh, branches and various twigs are located I'm just adding a little bit of shadow underneath each branch it just helps to define them against the uh, the, the snow lying on them
just mixing up the values a little bit using some some neat burnt sienna as well as the ultramarine and burnt sienna mix just adds a bit of variety to the colors of the branches and the twigs As this is basically from the imagination I'm making up as I go along and just um, squinting at the painting a little bit just to make sure I can get a, uh, a clearer idea of uh, the definition of the, where the um, twigs and branches are. Slowly building them up and it adds that depth to the painting. I'll make the foreground area a little bit darker shortly just to uh, give that aerial perspective of uh, darker colours coming towards you and uh, lighter colours receding. I've kept the background fairly loose and basic because I don't want it to uh, take over the attention. The attention is all in the foreground. This, uh, this tree on the left uh, creates that uh, rule of thirds uh, breaking up of the um, painting. Just darkening some of the shadows in the foreground area, just as I say, to bring it towards us a little bit. Just helps to create that depth that I'm looking for. Just adding some, some more twigs and branches in the foreground in a pretty strong mix of uh, ultramarine and burnt sienna just to finish off the painting really. I'm just spattering some burnt sienna and some raw sienna onto the painting just to add a little bit of dynamism and create a little bit of movement just going to use some white gouache to add a few details spatter a few drops as well just a few more bits of snow on that tree just clinging to the uh, the rough bark
rapidly reaching a point where I need to uh, stop otherwise I'm going to be fiddling for too long just a few more spatters and I think we're done thanks very much for watching the video I hope you learned something from it and if you did please uh, please give it a like it always helps with YouTube uh, please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to hear about uh, future videos. And thanks again for watching.